Hey guys, uh, this video is specifically for those who have a keyboard that allows them to record um, maybe content on their uh, pen drive, allows for external recording. So in this case, uh, I have a Yamaha PSRS910. This does allow me to record whatever I play, including the drums on the keyboard and on the external drive as well so uh, for today uh, what i'm going to try and show is uh, a way wherein you can have a massive library of various drum sounds drum samples including whatever kits your keyboard has so uh, this is specifically for those people who have a keyboard that allows them to record on maybe your uh, hard drive so I'm going to take an example of how it works with Yamaha. So let's go to a beat sample or a beat package here. So I'm going to get into the drums folder. And uh, in this case, let's maybe start with the break kit or whatever kit you want to start with so I started it and this is what the samples sound like so uh, now that I have this entire library for example if I just swipe all the sounds are within the break kit so what we can do is we can record each of these sounds using the USB function and make it as our own unique unique library. So uh, what I normally do is I go to the recorder, start recording and I give a bit of space or a time gap between each of the sounds. For example, I like this kick. Yeah, so I gave a bit of maybe a couple of seconds gap. So that part is recorded. Next is this snare. So I gave a bit of time like earlier. Now maybe I'll use this uh, hi-hat. So it's better to record by giving a gap between each of these. Okay, so I have all of these recorded on my USB right now. So let's see how I can make a sample library out of this. Hey guys, uh, so uh, continuing on from what we did on the keyboard. So I just plugged in my USB drive and there you have it. I have two different files here, even though I made one recording, I think uh, it's because my USB is not is in, in the best condition. It doesn't record at one go. Uh, the recording does break up at times. So anyways, the samples that we played on the keyboard, it is available in these two files, audio one and audio two. And as you can see, this is in WAV format. So WAV is, I think, pretty good when it comes to quality. So that is why uh, this way of creating a, maybe a, a beat sample or a drum, a drum library uh, uh, really helps out when it comes to maybe uh, making a song. Okay, so I've cut these two samples and now I'll maybe create a folder. There you go, like what I have. Uh, there is a folder called Yamaha Beat Sample. So I'll just save these as it is. And from here, I'll open FL Studio. Okay, by default, as you know, uh, you'll have these um, four different uh, samples of kick, clap, hi-hat, and a snare. And I mean, uh, these do definitely, uh, these definitely do the job, but uh, I don't know. I don't know about using them in every single project. I get tired after a while. Yeah. You know how that sounds. <laughs> okay. So uh, what I normally do after uh, saving these um, 
after saving these uh, wave files i'll just delete these up instead of the last one i just place an audio clip and i go to okay um, what do i do here is just to be slower i click on the audio clip and here you have the option of file click on browse and i go to the exact location where i saved the wave files okay there you go uh, there you go uh, you have those two files located here i'll open one of them so like we see the sample here we uh, let me just play and see what these two are okay so at Yep, so there you have it. So that is the kick drum. So what I do is I click on this uh, window here and press, press Ctrl E for Edison to open up. And from here, I make the changes to these files. So what I do is I'm just selecting the unnecessary part that is from here. I need it all the way. Okay, from here all the way till the end so i think this is the kick portion yeah so that's the kick so I'll maybe clean it up even better because i don't need even that tiny amount of gap there so if you scroll in it zooms in so i think yep that sounds good and the sample ends here so i'm gonna cut off everything else after that so uh, to cut i'm doing a control x okay so this is the kick drum okay so now i'll save this as maybe kick two okay now similar to what i did with the kick i'll go to edison for the original file again this time I don't need this portion, so I'm going to go to the second bit, cut the unnecessary bit. Okay. Yep, so even this part is a bit too much, that might create delay in playing the Yep, so that is the sample. So this is snare 2. So if you remember we had two different files and let me go to the second one and see what are the things we played there. Okay. Okay, these three are the ones that I need. So I'm gonna delete everything else before. So the first one is until here. Now it is zoomed in. Let me delete this also. Control X will do it maybe a little bit more even a bit more okay that looks clean so that's the sample let's save this as a i had to go to the sample again control e go that takes you to edison this is the second part yeah, that also sounds good. Let's remove the unnecessary content. Mm. Yeah. So that sounds good. Let me save this too as I had three maybe. And for the last one, zoom in all the way in, remove the unnecessary content. still have a bit left okay that sounds good so this will be hi hat four maybe okay so now you have this completely new drum sample with you
So all I do is I'll maybe clone the same thing. Now you just have to load the sample that you just saved. So I just clicked on the audio and click on load sample. And here you have kick two. Okay, so and uh, I'll click on the second sample. Maybe we load um, hi hat two. Third sample will be snare two. Fourth one maybe hi hat three. Maybe we'll add one more sample. I had four. Okay. Uh, so uh, let's create a beat now. Okay, so here is the sample that we created out of the uh, uh, USB uh, out of the samples from the keyboard. Okay, so you can place the pattern wherever you want. You can create your drum rolls if you'd like. Uh, I mean, it just sounds much better than how it might sound uh, if you use the stock plugins. So there you have it. That is what I wanted to cover today. I uh, hope this helps you out on your projects and makes them sound more realistic than uh, using the stock plugins. Uh, thank you for tuning in and if you like this and if maybe if this was helpful for you to, uh, helpful for you to make your own samples, uh, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I have much more stuff coming up that made my life easier in using FL Studio. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.